Hi, Morgan here. Today I'm teaching you everything about Microsoft Excel Starter 2010. First thing you need to do is go down to your start button. Hit once. And just search in the tab Excel. It should pop up the first one. Just click it. It'll be just like Microsoft Startup, then it will open. As you remember in my Microsoft Word demo, you can put insert a table. On Microsoft Excel, you can put a lot more boxes into your table and make it a little bit more, you know, high tech. You can click each box you want and enter any text you want, like hi, my, name. Here on my box, oh, I skipped number four, but that's okay. As you may notice, I'm going to click each one I've written in, the letters will pop up up here. You can also write stuff in this box. These box can also do it. When we come to the blank one, you can write other stuff in that. Let's go over all the tools on each tab. Each tab you have is File, which you will always have on any Microsoft, Home, Insert, Page Layout, and Formulas. On File, you have a menu. The first one is Save. The second one is Save As. The third one is Open. The fourth one is Close. This one is Info. This one is Recent. The recent workbook you have worked on in here, recent places. This one is new. It says print. Save and send if you need to send it on an uh, email. Just help if you have to do some help. But this is what I'm here for. Home is all the things you can do right on the page. Paste. We've already been over that on Microsoft Word. Cut, copy, format painter, and tag. Here's your different font, font size, bold, italic, underline, different underlines, uh, grid, paint, different colors, anything you want. Spacing, paragraph, wrap text, merge and center. Okay, here we go. This is numbers. General, accounting, currency, anything you need. I'm going to go on a blank one. Money. Is that a money sign you need? Percent style. Comma style. Increase decimal. Decrease decimal. As you, as you may have noticed, this is more for a business or a bridge you're trying to sell. This is conditional formatting. Format as table. This is different styles of the text. Good. As you can see, the background is changed. Bad. Neutral. Any colors you need. This is insert. So. Delete. So. Tell the little boxes in here. Format. Change the row, height, or column. Auto sum, fill, clear, sort of filter, find and select, spelling, I guess insert, table, but there's already a table here. In case you just want to change the table, there's that key. Uh, you need to insert a picture. It might extend your box a little bit, but hey, if you got a picture in there. Clip art, shape, you can enter a shape, columns, more for business, lines, making the line graph. Pie chart, bar graph, area, scatter, other charts. Where are all these charts? Spark lines are line, columns, win, and lock. Hyperlink. Put a link in there. Facebook.com, Google.com, YouTube.com. Text box. Enter a text box anywhere you need. Header and footer. Name. Word art. Change your words a little bit. Make them fancy. Symbols. Degree symbols, percentage symbols, show ink. 
they can go on the page layout. Theme, colors, font, effects, margins, don't go over the margins, your English teacher says. Orientation, page orientation, size, what size you want your paper to be, print area, breaks in the page, background, make a picture of background, print titles, width, automatic, automatic, height, scale, what's your scale, grid line, bring forward, send backward, select and chain, align. The last one is formulas. Insert a function. That's what I'm learning in math right now. This is more of an algebra skill. Auto sum. Sum of something. I'm guessing this is more like the math section. We have calculation, option, calculate now, calculate sheet, use of the financial, logical, text, date, time, look up reference, math, and trade, more functions. So let's go back to home. You can write anywhere you want. Anyway, the next thing you need to do is go to file. You can simply save your document by clicking the button Save. This pop up will come up. Just save it as whatever you want. Excel sheet. You can save that. Just click save. I'm not going to save you. When you're done, it, this shouldn't happen because you've already saved. It'll come right back to your desktop. You're done. Anytime you need to, you can go back to your library and look it up in your documents. Thanks for watching.